Story 1. I have been depressed my whole life and had suicidal ideation for years. It will probably catch up to me at some point. That or some stupid accident because I am incredibly clumsy. I will probably trip and fall into the Grand Canyon or something. Story 2. Non-small cell lung cancer. I think at some point and probably fairly soon now it's going to come back. I had it in 2020 and my scans over the last year have been getting worse. I underwent four more rounds of chemotherapy in May in hopes of shrinking two nodules, and they responded just a bit. The next scan is in October. This might not end well, but who knows? Maybe it doesn't grow anymore. Story 3. I'm not sure, but I really hope to die with my boots on. I'd love to keel over reading a book or taking a walk, or doing something else I enjoy. I know I will not be bedridden. I'll end it myself before then. That's actually a bit of a tradition in my family. Story 4. Realistically, it could be cancer or an infection. I'm not very healthy and have smoked for 16 years. I already almost died due to complex diverticulitis a couple of years ago. There's no way I'm reaching 70. Story 5. Ever since I was a little kid and had repeated freakish nightmares of trees eating me alive, probably from watching Snow White and The Wizard of Oz, walking home through the cold, frozen forest in the dark, in the mountains of Alaska, I felt as though a painful death awaited me around every corner. After seeing Poltergeist, I knew it to be a certainty that one day, I would die eaten by a tree. Story 6. Statistically, the most likely cause of death for me would be heart disease or cancer. It could possibly be a case of skin cancer that goes unnoticed for too long, especially considering the numerous sunburns I experienced in my teens and twenties. I regularly run and monitor my cholesterol levels, which reduces my risk of heart disease, even though I have a family history of the condition. I am quite focused on risk mitigation these days, so it is unlikely that an automobile accident or something similar would be the cause. Although, if I am certain that I'm facing a terminal illness, I am not one to simply sit back and allow medical expenses to financially ruin my family. Story 7. Honesty, whether it's related to a drug overdose or a drunk driving accident, as a recovering addict or alcoholic, a relapse is just a possibility. All of us in recovery know that, so it's just a possibility but not likely. Or something I hope people will remember me positively for. Story 8. Lung cancer could not stop me from looking at the mustard on my doctor's shirt when he told me it was terminal. I am considering cooking some methamphetamine to sell with an old student of mine to ensure my kids will have money after I die. I am a chemistry teacher after all. Story 9. It was absolutely going to be an elevator. I don't usually have these kinds of anxieties or other quirks. I just saw too many expired certificates while riding too many elevators all the time. I've imagined so many times what it would feel like to have it suddenly drop on my way to some meaningless meeting I dragged myself to for appearances even though my appearance certainly couldn't have had a positive influence on the vibe. But I've been permanently working from home since 2020, so I'm starting to think maybe the prophecy has been broken. Or that's just when they'll get me. Story 10. Overdoses, not illegal drugs, but painkillers, antidepressants, anti-anxiety pills. I have some health problems, making me take many pills per day, or maybe a seizure. Story 11. I read that it's really common for people to be found dead in the bathroom because whenever something feels wrong, a lot of people think they need to use the toilet or shower. Whenever something is wrong with me, I always take a hot shower first thing. I'll probably be old and shrug it off and take a shower to fix it, and then we'll pass in the shower. Story 12. I'm not sure how I will die, but I know how I want to die. In a blaze of glory in the heat of battle, then have my body lifted on the wings of Valkyries to Valhalla. And if I can't have that, then in the company of adventurous women with liberated morals. Story 13. A few years ago, I would have said alcoholic cirrhosis, but since meeting my first love, I feel hopeful again for the first time in a long time. It would be nice to grow old and have him hold me as I pass through to the void, but seeing as he is a great deal older than I am, it's more likely I'll be holding him as he enters the void. Story 14, hopefully trying to protect someone else. I do not see why people want to grow old. I have seen so many old people slowly lose their minds and lose function of their bodies until they just wait to die. That sounds like a horrible way to go. 
Story 15. Heart attack has killed the majority of the people on my dad's side of the family, and I take after him. If it's not that, it will be breast or reproductive cancer among the women on my dad's side. Story 16. I have this genetic terminal disease in my family that has no cure. My dad and grandfather already died from it at a young age, and since I'm super skinny, I'll likely get it too. I really hope not, but it's rare to skip it. Story 17. I will probably die at work, heart attack I am sure. I have no retirement, barely any savings, and retirement age will hit me in 15 years. As my kid once joked around with me, I will have to ask for the day off to go to my own funeral. Sadly, my job is physically demanding, and one day will probably kill me once I get older. Story 18. I sometimes imagine it will be something super random, like tripping over my own feet and falling down a flight of stairs. Or maybe it will be one of those weird Florida man stories, where I am minding my own business and then something totally bizarre happens like a vending machine falling on me because I shook it too hard. Story 19. I had a very vivid dream many years ago that I would be shot by a sniper through a hotel window. I felt the bone shatter. I always thought that would be how I would die. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm on a different timeline where I die of sepsis. I've had it twice already, and not many have survived three dances. Story 20. If Trump wins the election, I believe he will be so destroyed by my posts calling him Mango Mussolini that he will personally order my assassination. He knows he can't refute a free-thinking Reddit user, and his only retort will be murder. Story 21. Choking on my own saliva or while drinking water is seriously troublesome. Sometimes I'll just swallow some excess saliva that's accumulated in my mouth, and instead of going down my esophagus, it decides to go the wrong way down my trachea instead. This leads to me ending up with violent coughing spasms. Story 22. Alone, possibly from a heart attack in a decade or two. I will also write in my will to make it clear that I do not want a funeral, as I am an atheist, and do not want a grave because I do not think that anybody will visit anyway, and it is a waste of space. Story 23. If family history tells me one thing, it's either a 75% chance of an early death due to cancer or a 25% chance of ending up with dementia in my 70s. Darn genetics. Story 24. I'll slip on a banana peel, fall into a frog's nest, get attacked by the toads, pushed into the ocean, get saved by a mermaid, bite the said mermaid in the shoulder, get my rear kicked by a water-type Karen, wake up on the side of the ocean shore, survive the cold nights, survive harder, reach the top of a mountain and yell at the top of my lungs, Anderson, because I didn't know an Anderson in my life and I kinda wish I did because he sounds like a cool guy to hang with, slide down the mountain like Fred Flintstone and get pelted in the head by a falling tree branch. Story 25. Sorry for my bad English. I think I'll die when everyone who knows me personally dies and when I am sure that nobody who interests me in music, etc., will ever publish something again like the Beatles did some time ago. I think that it will be considered hidden suicide. I don't have any mental struggles. Story 26. I have a sense that I've met the person who's going to kill me. I will make them so uncomfortable while doing so, for example, making fun of the clothes they decided would be appropriate to wear while killing me. Story 27. Heart attack. In about 20 years, early 70s. I am not obese, but I gain about 10 pounds per decade and my endurance is decreasing yearly. I don't watch my diet and I eat what I want, but I don't do drugs other than a beer or two at most. My family has a history of pancreatic cancer, but I don't think I will make it long enough for that to get me. It usually hits us close to 80. Story 28. Probably tripping over something stupid, like my own shoelaces, while trying to avoid a completely unrelated and ridiculous danger. It will be a classic case of overthinking the situation and underestimating my own clumsiness. Story 29. Probably an accident or from a staph infection. I am ridiculously accident prone and have suffered broken bones, including my neck, brain injury, severe burns, bad car crashes, etc. I also have a rare form of diabetes and after breaking my leg terribly, I got a severe staphylococcus infection and almost lost my leg. Since then, Although my diabetes is exceptionally well controlled, minor skin infections usually turn into staphylococcus. I've had it in my leg, arm, ear, lip, cheek, and eyelid. 
I've been fortunate so far. No severe scarring and I kept my limbs, but still. I hope, however, I'll just go in my sleep. Story 30. I will overthink the possibilities of how I might die when I become old, becoming overly cautious of anything that could prove fatal. I will exhaust my mind with all the stress and eventually let my guard down. The moment I do, I will die of mysterious causes. Story 31. Surrounded by the corpses of my enemies after a glorious battle, hopefully. Basically, like that dude at the end of the 13th Warrior. Story 32. Most likely heart failure or a heart attack. After COVID-19, I began experiencing serious cardiac problems. Severe degradation in quality of life since 2021. Story 33. Probably in a tragic accident out of my control. I don't know, I just get the feeling. Some final destination type situation. Anything is better than, say, cancer or some slow painful disease. Make it quick and let me be unaware, please. Story 34. I hope my arrhythmia is what eventually kills me, probably it won't. It has knocked me unconscious twice, and it was kind of pleasant. I start feeling a little lightheaded, quickly feel super woozy, and then, a few seconds later, lights out. More likely going to be cancer, though. I smoked for a couple of decades. I am 55 now and already on my second cancer. Both of them have been very non-aggressive, although one we can't treat right now, but it's unlikely to kill me. But two cancers by 55 isn't an ideal record. Story 35. I have coronary artery disease. It will not get better, only worse. There's nothing I can do about it. Unless something else takes me out, it will eventually kill me. Story 36. My life feels good, but I feel like I will die from cancer at some point. No signs, no real indication for it, but I don't know, trying to enjoy life now rather than tomorrow. My mom comes from the Philippines and lots of her Filipino friends got cancer. I don't know. Story 37. I predicted my death when I was a teenager. It just popped into my head that I am going to die at 68 of a heart attack. Cannot wait to see if I'm right. My 68th birthday is going to be fun. Story 38. Been dead once. Cardiac arrest in November 2019. It took five shots from automated external defibrillator paddles to get my heart back in rhythm. I have no recall of the event. I woke up 36 hours later, intubated, in the intensive care unit. Bypass surgery and pacemaker implant later and I am back to normal. So for me, cardiac-related death is probable. Story 39. Car accident. I live quite some distance from my family and have to do a lot of driving. My luck is probably at its worst when I'm on my way to some reunion or special get-together, just being practical. Or facing danger in prison, having had a couple of close calls. Story 40. Heart condition. Men in my family have historically died of heart problems for generations. I see a cardiologist regularly and mine is apparently fine, but I have a high-stress job and home life. It'll get me. Story 41. I know exactly how, I just don't know when. Here's the scenario. I tend to leave the door of the microwave oven open when I take stuff out of it. It's up above the stove and hangs out quite a bit. One of these days, I'm gonna bonk my head on the corner of the door sticking out, and man, that will hurt. So, I'll be extra, extra careful after that for a long time, making sure I close the door and not run into it. Very diligent. Then one day, a few years later, I'll be in a hurry and leave the microwave door open. I'll spin back towards the stove to do something, and bam, it hits me right in the temple, cracking my skull and sending a shard into my brain, killing me pretty much instantly. I really tried. I was very diligent for years, but all it takes is just one time when I'm not paying attention. Dead. 